Good morning. Welcome to the Public Facilities Commission. Before us this morning is the Public Facilities Department. Uh, TT, could you take over? Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning. This meeting is being recorded and broadcast live. Before we get started, I've asked Colleen Daly, the PFC Secretary, to take a roll call of the meeting participants. Colleen, if you would please conduct the roll call. Thank you, TT. Please unmute your device and confirm your presence when I call your name, beginning roll call with the Commission. Larry Mamoli, Commissioner? Present. Donald Wright, Commissioner? Present. T.T. Lee, Legal Advisor? Present. Catherine Pendleton, Article Clerk? Present. And with PFD, Kerry Griffin, Director? Present. Alistair Lux, Project Manager 2? Present. I'll read for the record the remainder of the individuals in attendance. Attendees do not need to unmute your device when I call your name. Elizabeth Feltner, paralegal for the PFC. Evan Brinkman, assistant director of, for operations and design. Lisa, Lisa Guscott, assistant director for construction. And this concludes roll call. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. The first order of business uh, this morning concerns draft meeting minutes for the Public Facilities Department and Mayor's Office of Housing from prior meeting minutes, which took place on July 19, 2023. Is there a motion to approve these meeting minutes? Motion to approve. Sorry, Donald. I Sorry, second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The meeting minutes of July 19th for PFD and MOH are hereby approved. We are starting this morning with the Public Facilities Department. We have Carrie Griffin, Director of PFD. PFD has one vote request on the agenda for today. Vote number one is being presented by Alistair Lux, Project Manager 2 with PFD. This concerns recommended contract awards to various designers for house doctor consulting services for various city facilities, projects, and or sites to provide house doctor services um, and design consulting services to be performed as needed basis from July 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2028. The contract awards are identified on the agenda and included in the supporting documentation. There's a recommended contract price of not to exceed of $3 million for a five year period per each individual category, starting with category three, surveying and mapping services, category eight, environmental engineering and testing, Category 9, Building Code Consulting, and Category 11, Building Forensic Investigation and Testing Services. Alistair, if you please present your vote request. Thank you, TT. Good morning, Commissioners. The following information provides an overview of the fiscal year 2024 through fiscal year 2028 House Doctor Consulting Services Project, which is being brought before you for a vote of approval to award design services contracts to multiple firms in the following categories. Category three, survey and mapping services. Category eight, environmental engineering and testing. Category nine, building code consulting. And category 11, building forensic investigation and testing services. The city publicly advertised for professional design services through a request for qualifications, also known as RFQ process, pursuant to MGL chapter 7C. The advertisement was submitted for publication in the city record and the Boston Globe on January 2nd, 2023, and further re-advertised to solicit additional applications on May 29th, 2023. Additionally, the advertisement appeared in the Massachusetts Secretary of State's Central Register weekly posting on January 4th, 2023, and again on May 31st, 2023. The contracts manager at PFD also performed outreach during both advertisement periods via email to an extensive list of vendors from the State Directory of Certified Vendors soliciting applications from certified businesses. The scope of services for categories 3, 8, 9, and 11 were detailed in the RFQ, and the term of the fiscal year 24 through 28 House Doctor Consulting Services contracts is from July 1st, 2023 to June 30th, 2028. In response to the RFQ, firms submitted statements of qualifications, also known as SOQs, on February 15th, 2023, and on June 20th, 2023, as further detailed in the project background memo. In response to the RFQ, two firms submitted statements of qualifications for Category 3, one firm submitted an SOQ for Category 8, one firm submitted an SOQ for Category 
nine and three firms submitted SOQs for category 11, by category 11, by the SOQ due dates of February 15th, 2023 and June 20th, 2023. The aforementioned proposals were reviewed and discussed by a designer selection committee consisting of three staff members from the Public Facilities Department. On March 16th, March 24th, and July 18th of 2023, thereafter each member evaluated and rated the SOQs using the evaluation criteria stated in the published RFQ. Next, the rankings were tallied by the designer selection administrator and the firms were shortlisted and ranked in order of appropriateness for the project on March 24th and July 18th of 2023. The rankings were based on qualifications and experience with planning and programming studies, as well as the design of public and energy efficient building projects in Massachusetts and urban historic environments. The Designer Selection Committee recommended all seven firms for the fiscal year 24 through 28 House Doctor Consulting Services contracts to the Director of the Public Facilities Department as a result of each firm's overall qualifications and experience with design and or construction administration services. For the record, the following are the firms that were recommended for a design services contract. In Category 3, Surveying and Mapping Services, BSC Group Incorporated and GDT Associates Incorporated. In Category 8, Environmental Engineering and Testing, Weston and Sampson Engineers Incorporated. In Category 9, Building Code Consulting, SLS Boston Design LLC. And in Category number 11, Building Forensic Investigation and Testing Services, Socotech AE Consulting LLC, Gannett Fleming Engineers and Architects PC, and Beasley, Chin, and Hunderman PC doing business as Wiss, Janey, Engineers, and Architects. No interviews were conducted and the proposed contract prices are as follows. For categories three, eight, nine, and 11, a $3 million maximum amount per contract for a five-year period. Thus, I'm seeking the Public Facilities Commission approval to award design uh, house doctor consulting services contracts for the noted firm as stated in the agenda and on supporting documents. I look forward to discussing and answering any questions you may have, and thank you for your time on this important matter. Commissioner Wright, any questions? No questions, Commissioner Moore. Uh, motion to approve? Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Vote number one is hereby approved. This concludes PFD's agenda for today's meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn this portion of the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, commissioners. Nice job, Alistair. Thank you. We're just going to have a little break in between, and uh, MOH will be presenting at hopefully within the, the next five minutes.